What's happening? I'm going to be about Tevin Campbell's Uncensored TV One. I watched it last night. It was good, of course. He's one of my favorite male vocalists of the last 30 plus years. Um, unsung, underrated, underappreciated. You know, I tell people all the time, you can have Usher's career, or Chris Brown, them, those cats. And Usher's a very talented entertainer, but he gives you stage and whatever. But his voice ain't never hit me like Tevin. Just never hit it like that. And there's a reason why Babyface gave Can We Talk to Tevin Campbell and not to Usher. Just saying. Before people talk about the, all the ruckus, Usher was doing good for itself. I made the compare and contrast because they were around the same time. You know, Tevin came out a little bit more before, but Tevin just had that it. I still say the youngest, closest thing to a Michael Jackson. Not like, but the closest thing. And he emoted Whitney in his vocals too. But I like the professionalism of Tevin Campbell. That's the, there's a lot of layers of Tevin Campbell that I'll take over a lot of these artists because professionalism, vocal ability, the right talents, the people. Uh, he talked about association with Quincy Jones. He talked about, I think, all the Michael Ward and Babyface, who his mother wanted him to work with because Babyface was bringing it with the pen game. He talked about association with Prince uh, when they worked together and so on. So he had a lot of seasoning, a lot of things coming about, but you can tell he's a pro. And you can also tell how damaging the industry was because he talked about don't trust these people and how it was and how he's been reluctant about putting out new music because he hasn't a new album out over 20 plus years, you know, and he talks about doing Broadway and different things. I respect him as an artist to this day. I would love to hear him come back because to me, that dude was one of the one of those guys that moved me back in the 90s, back in the day. He came out late 80s, tomorrow, better you, better me with Quincy Jones, but I just have a respect for his talent, and I know that he's the truth, you know, right material. So I'm looking forward to when he comes out. But it was good to hear him be reflective because he set up some records straight, and he just talked about it. He didn't go on all the details, but you know he's been through some stuff. So I just wanted to give him a shout-out when I watch that. Please hit like, subscribe, welcome thoughts or comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep your mind clear. Watch out for another shit if you want to. I'm out. Peace.